barracks, but hey, they both got jobs, right? And you guys pass the fuck out. Honestly, you guys have been walking around in the case for you, Ruhan. You've been carrying like heavy like cargo the entire day. You guys are pretty tired. So, uh, ready to collapse, or in the case for your elven one here, trance out for a few hours. Mm-hmm. We're going to take a five minute break out of, out of game. Um, when we come back, I'm not going to have you guys run through morning routine because it's literally just you guys and Lena going to be away. Jesse's fucking sleeping and fuck you guys. She ain't doing shit for you. Uh, and we're going to be at the stables, you guys leaving and getting your gear. As well as me yeah. to, um, I guess you call them like cargo, or not cargo guys, the car uh, carriage guys. Because the carriage will drop you off and then go back. And, you know, you could just have one driver, but it's it's just safer too. <laughs> Because there is stuff that lives in the old town. Nothing terribly dangerous. Not like there's a fucking like, clan of trolls in there. But, you know, stuff could happen. So better have two. Ah, yeah, it's the unicorn. Yep. Yeah, five minute break. I'm going to do this for me. Thea over there flexing her racial superiority. Oh, yeah. Just... Okay. Oh, I'm a, you know, it's it does seem weird, though. That elf who takes such a long time doing everything in life spend the least time sleeping every day. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's like a weird kind of... But... Uh, strange. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, car's finally fixed. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I remember crashing earlier if I get it fixed. I don't care. Pick everything up. Go. I didn't ask who's what was what. I said get it clean. All right, I'm gonna go get some water. Yeah, I'm gonna get some iced tea. Behold the unicorn. I do love how Crash is just like, oh, we don't want to spend the entire session in here. Meanwhile, we're all just like, hey, four or five hours in a fucking tavern? Let's go!
Hallo. Hello. That was very spooky. <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Hello. Who's back? Who's not? Um, I do not know. That's a don't worry. I think it's just okay. us three. Right now. <laughs> Trying to work out who left the conversation there, and I was like, wait, what? I <laughs> got you good. <laughs> but alas, it was a Sonya. Just change the music. Uh, let's see, this one. I have returned. Hello! <laughs> You know, I can always use an excuse to play Oreos Ascension from Oblivion any fucking time. Oh yeah. Now. Oh yeah, there we go, that's... It's a classic, it's a classic. Mm -hmm. And it has a nice tranquil calm, which is associated, to me at least, with early mornings. That or miserable suffering, because I have once again <laughs> stayed up all night until dawn, and I feel really bad about it. Which is basically me every day these days. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. shit, dawn. I, I used to do that when I was your age. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. When I was your age, you gotta bring it up. like, oh, I used to do that. You gotta say, when I was your age. Man, that, dude, that's like 10 years ago. <laughs> I, I just don't have the body for it anymore. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, ready for, I'm waiting for the time where my body will finally collapse and be like, nope, no more of that. <laughs> Give that a pass. Ah, uh, yeah, at least a couple more years, probably. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, the way it is. Around mm -hmm. the time I was 24, 25, 26, that, that range is when I stopped partying altogether because I just, my body was like, nope, no more of that. Mm hmm. So, yeah. At most, I after that, years. I was like, I gotta get like a beer for dinner or. Uh, couple beers relaxing in the evening that's 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 great but going to a pub or a club nah I miss me with that shit oh god yeah it's like yeah. I'm just completely over clubs now as well I can still that's do pubs thing. Perfect but... timing. my friend and I we had this moment of realization dawn upon us and we we're like why would we go there we can't hear shit what anyone's saying yeah 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 oh I like that now really. yeah <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. yeah but if you're into the whole meat market thing, by by all means, have at it. <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah, no, that I'm, I'm sort of okay. serial killer ask when you say it like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, youngsters these days, they have apps and whatnot for that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tango started attacking me as you said that, so I think he heard it and did not approve. Yes, good, Here. good. Come here, buddy. I hear someone trying to talk. Someone on Kirsty's end. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I heard someone background for you. Oh. That's really weird because I'm on my own. That's probably me then. That's kind of terrifying actually. Mm -hmm. Unless you're watching like a video or something, I don't know. Maybe. Behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of got me on edge. If you hear me screaming, you know I'm dead. <laughs> oh, it's like the movie Hush, starring Kate Seagal. What are you doing? Oh, well, sorry I was making noise, but I hope it was me and not like. A ghost? Yeah. I just figured it was Oda oh, trying to talk, but like his mic shed itself or something. What, sorry? Is Oda there? Hmm. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Are you gonna be able to stay with us for the day, or you gotta cut out soon? Uh, I'll be here for a little bit while longer, at least. Like a little, little bit, or like a hour, little bit. Uh, probably an hour or so. Yeah. Hey, yeah. score! Awesome. All right, are you so in the car? Are you surprised at that? <laughs> no, no, not really. But 
O has a talent to be able to play while literally doing like an entire day's worth of activities, which impresses yeah, me. Yeah, that, that's. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm impressed. I'm currently driving, getting dinner, and fighting a Team Rocket boss in Pokemon Go. Hell what yeah. The oh my Bruh. god. <laughs> Is it Giovanni? Uh, you hitting up Giovanni? Yeah, I did that earlier. Uh, no, it's just some schmuck boss. Ah, uh, one of the plebeians, gotcha. Yeah. Let's get back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scamper. So, uh, you guys go to sleep, get your five, six hours of sleep, or in the case of Fia, four hours of trance. Korak, please remove your final point of exhaustion after a night of merriment, proper food and drink, and a at least minimum for survival and rest amount of sleep. Thank you. It has been removed. No more disadvantage. Don't worry. Plenty more of that we're, this we're going with all the underwater shit. <laughs> so, early in the morning, you guys gear up, keeping quiet because, you know, it's fucking like 5 a.m. or some shit. I don't know. But also play down Lana, there. Yeah, Lana's already down there, like, dressed in the gear you see her, you saw her in last night. You know, her full basically play armor and everything play face play 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 her and play you guys head out to the stables the sole stables in the town there's only one gate you guys and Lena told you this as you guys are traveling you guys will be traveling or getting I guess getting led by two way set guards they'll drop you off and then they're just gonna come right back We'll take a quick detour by Expeditionary HQ so we can grab all those fun. She says, like, only slightly regrudgingly. Things. Gadgets. For you guys to use. You, and you guys do so. You guys go by, take a peek in, or rather, Lana takes a peek in, grabs the stuff, distributes it out to you guys. So you guys got your slag thrower, your javelins, your rounds, your bolts, the lightning weapons, the whole shebang. And you guys continue heading to the stables. And you see the two um, uh, wayset guards. They're already... Horses are already hitched up. They're ready to go. You guys just gotta hop in. You know, one of them has a shotgun. One of them has a rifle. The one manning the... Um, the What's it called? The, the reins. That's the term. Reins uh, has a shotgun. Bit of a more squat and stout guy. Not a dwarf, but he's just by human standards. We were squatting out, which is a bit of a contrast to his taller, more lean partner who has a rifle. Get in! Come on! Hot Any last minute questions? No. You guys are having fun. <laughs> not, yeah, not for me. I think, I think we got the... The gist of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, and don't worry about Abin and Philip there. She points at the two wayside guards. They've been briefed. They're it's in the, the know. Boys. No chili this time. God damn it. Maybe I come back. But don't worry about them. They already know. Is there anything you want brought back? Diplomatic efforts and support. Understood. You are very tired. <laughs> Oh, what can I say? I'm losing my touch, having actual sleep for so long. <laughs> Very just chuckles in remembrance. Ah, uh, back in the day when I back, slept an back eight hours. Back in the hour. day where you only slept an hour a night. Yes, indeed. Uh, mm. uh, Brings a tear to my yeah. eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nothing else. She like like quicks her heels together. He salutes you guys. Good luck. She flicks salutes. I oh, yeah, do say. Salute back. Yeah. Keep my cousin safe, huh? He can probably work. Damage, but sure. I don't need any help, Lena. So you think, and so you said many times, that doesn't stop me from being a bit cautious. <laughs> we'll be seeing you, Lena. We will be seeing you. Good. What you set? Get going. Hi, ma'am. Yeah! You guys begin traveling. And this is probably your guys' first 
glimpse into the old town. And honestly, it's not like super foreboding. It's not like um, Cross Guard Ridge from the previous campaign where like you're basically walking through a death zone haunted by one ghoul that could fuck you up. No, I think the old town, if nothing else, if I were to describe its tone in a single word, it's just sad. You could tell the, you could see the splendor of what the buildings once were, how proper the roads must have been, the piles of rubble which are still here, where they might have once originated from. Definitely a lot of places to hide. Any of you that are more um, city slicking, uh, adventurers definitely find places like, oh, I could hide there, ambush there, da da da. I don't know how many of you are actually city slickers, I guess, Cork. Nope. It, maybe you fear, maybe. But I think for you, Rose, like you're pretty uh, ironically outdoorsy, but don't like it. <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But she loves the city, but no, she has to leave is, it. <laughs> Nonetheless, your guys' adventure sense is like. Don't get me wrong, they cleared out the road, like some cord space on the road itself, so it's not like someone's gonna like take a step out to the right and ambush you. They've got some space. But nonetheless, like it does just have this eerie sense to it. And you can only imagine how Kaylin found Ian amidst all this ruin and rubble. <clears throat> but, you guys' thoughts don't linger on it too long as you guys eventually, it doesn't take too long, clear out of it and through it. Abin and Philip are talking to you. Well, Philip more so. Abin like, is keeping like a really focused eye on the road as well as around you. But Philip, in his uh, lackadaisical manner, tells you that don't worry, all of you. This is the most dangerous part of our journey, which is why Admin is, and like, as he said, this, like, bump! <laughs> you guys go like, jump in the back of the carriage, like, hit your heads on it. Going so fast. <laughs> yeah, he's, Admin's, like, putting these horses, you know, metal to the pedal to the metal. Not that there's pedals for this, right? But, yeah, though it just tells you, like, this is the most dangerous part. The part that you guys might be caught most, as unlikely as it is, most likely to encounter an ambush. From here on, he said as you guys are leaving, from here on, just open terrain. That being said, he like looks around. It's foggy. It's like fucking six a.m. Dawn has even like Dawn is just about to even begin. It's foggy as fuck right now because ocean, humidity, air. Yeah, it's foggy. That being said, uh, I'm afraid our visibility and sightline are a bit cut short, but we'll be fine. I'm sure of it. You guys just can do wheels rolling. It's a very nice carriage, to be honest. I'm probably a bit more fancy than a bunch of secret tasked exp expeditionaries should be having, but these guys can uh, chill for a bit. Uh, Abin and Fillet, Abin more so than Fillet, tells you guys it'll take you guys like 50 minutes before you guys get there. So you guys are free to chill, sleep, catch a quick one Snooze. if you want. Yeah. Whether or not you guys do that, it's up to you. Yeah, or, or Korik is going to sleep with one eye open. Just quick nap. Yeah, you guys have walls that separate you from... Like, it's not an open-top wagon, it's like an actual carriage. So you guys have walls, doors, and stuff like that that separate you from the outside, cold, <laughs> like cold, uh, environment outside. But yeah, catch a nap, tend to your weaponry, load up bolts, rounds, whatever you want to do. Check your spell books. Oh, wait! Ha-ha! <laughs> the fucking <laughs> wizards this time! <laughs> yes. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's up to you guys. Like this, 50 minutes you pass. And you guys are dropped off. Not directly in the cove, this area. Uh, I just realized you guys are still on the bar map. That's my bad. We'll move you guys to uh, the title part here. Um, you guys aren't dropped off directly in the cove, but uphill from it. Um, it's a pretty steep slope, which just means you get to it closer and faster, because you're just basically like, not sliding, but with the the dew on the on the ground and stuff like that, it is a bit slippery. But yeah, you guys hop off the wagon, make sure you guys got all your shit, reed reavers, potions, weapons, ammunition, the works, and then <laughs> Abin and Phil, you know, just asked to make sure you guys got everything. Sort of like, like, 
like uh, parents dropping off kids at school. Yeah. <laughs> but not in like such a caring manner. They're really like listed off. Or in the case of Abby, they just listed off. So it's like, you guys didn't leave any in the car? No, no, nope, nope. There's just nopes all around. Got your bullets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Got your arrows. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. It's like, and then Phil is just like, stop. You're being weird. All right. It seems you guys are good to go. Good luck on your mission. I'm afraid you guys will have to re-emerge around here, or perhaps the elves will give you a closer destination. But regardless, you're probably going to walk back. Our apologies. Oh, fun. Yeah, we can't ask you to wait here for, like, however long it takes us to do shit. Indeed not. But hopefully not too long. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> They were nice. They were. They were very peculiar. They still are. Yeah. <laughs> I got a very mommish vibe off of one of them. Oh, oh no. Are you sure you shouldn't have gone to the brothel before we left, or...? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Nothing, let's just keep going. Keep your thoughts on the mission, come on. <laughs> Barry yeah. like descending down. Uh, but wouldn't this be fun? First mission together, guys? Technically, yes, it is the first mission. Yeah, yeah. Well, techni I don't techni think technically, it's the second. First planned. Yeah. The first one was sort of a surprise. Yeah. Varric is just loading, like just double checking the rifle. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, while, while talking, I'm getting the root breather thing set up. Oh yeah, yeah. As you guys get further and further down the cove, the fog is heavier and heavier because cold air go down. <laughs> Gun goes burr, sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, you guys descend deeper and deeper fog, and don't get me wrong, this isn't like Silent Hill fog. Yeah, you guys can still see relatively fairly. I'd say the area is lightly obscured, not heavily obscured. Mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. Yes, indeed. So you guys descend into the cove, you guys begin stepping into the sands of it. Just. <laughs> Your guys' print's obvious, but you know, there's only so much you can do on literal fucking sand. And you're confident that the tide will eventually rise and climb away. Hopefully. So, we're just supposed to wait here. Basically. For what, exactly? For them to show up. Yep. Before they show like up. like an ambush. Yeah. Before they do show up, is there any... <laughs> does anyone have... Things that can't get wet, waterlogged, damaged, papers. Oh shit, I just realized. Um, the balsa wood. Um, what about that? You guys want to do something with that? Or at least Odin. I'm not sure if all of you did, but Odin. Uh, sure. yeah, it might be a little bit late now. <laughs> um, depending on what you do with it, like, I might let you do it, but I just want to know what you're <laughs> attempting to do with it. Just, uh, uh, taking some and epoxying it to the armor. So it's more buoyant and not like wearing eighty pounds of metal underwater. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think that would take too long, especially if you had like people to help magically. Uh, uh, it's not accelerate the epoxy. Oh yeah, yeah like... shoot! You're right. Press the digitation immediately. Dry stuff. Hey. hey. Yeah. Oh so... yeah. Okay, that makes epoxying way easier. Yeah. So. Press the digitation. Yo. Um, I do. I think. We all do. <laughs> <laughs> We're covered. Well, here's the one thing. One of us has it, we all have it. Yeah, and one of us only has to sleep four hours, so you wake up and you do the dirty work. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you would just be you would just be cutting it properly and putting it on in like strategic places, like some on the breastplate. Yeah, some on the pauldron, some on the rear of the breastplate. Shin guards, uh, maybe. Some on yeah, shin guards, mm -hmm. just in appropriate areas for both. Himself and Rose and is Varric? Is Varric and Abigail on. either of them? Okay, he might want some too then. That's fair. Um. Mm, I'm trying to see how to. Because I don't think it's not like it gives you a swimming speed. It's like impossible. But uh, I'm trying I... to like maybe probably just lessen the weight of it. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, no check needed for this. This is like intelligent points. So I'm okay with it. Um, I'll just say that like 
don't get me wrong, you guys all sink to a degree, because that's how water works. works. <laughs> yeah. But I just think now it's a matter of, like, you guys now all sink on a consistent level. So even those of you with heavier armor don't anchor, like, and stick to the floor as much as people that are literally wearing no armor are doing. Yeah. A bit of a little someone... location on it, but... I, I can't As someone who, who has swam with a five pound brick, it puts you to the floor very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, I think you are you're fine. Um, not to like not like you could swim, but um, it does offer that much bit of buoyancy. I think you'll still sink, but I think it's a matter of if you want to unsink yourself by jumping or something like swimming up. It's not as mm. an obstructive and uh, resist like weight bound uh, resistance. So yeah, the, like the literally die. The goal being, it's less exhaustive, and if yeah. something was like pulling me down, it doesn't have an easier job. Yeah, I think that's fair. So if you guys get Cthulhu from like a pit somewhere, uh, Cthulhu can equally target all of you. Thumbs up. We're all fucked, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, maybe if you guys are fighting Cthulhu. Yeah. Oh, so right, you guys have your also the wood and stuff. I don't think we're jumping in. I'm supposed to wait here. Yes, but uh, come on, bedrolls, stuff. We, I know you've got shit that will suck to get dry. So uh, that's good. I have a deck of I'm cards. Over. <laughs> Just throw all the unnecessary shit in the bag. Basically. Yep. Just you can leave it on your sheet. Um, I think it'd be a bit too much to add like 20 different things to the bag of holding. But I'll just assume that we'll follow a passive logic of can this get wet? Would get destroyed or ruined if it gets wet. It was probably in the back of one. Mm. Great. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Roger. Lovely. Thank you much, Le. I don't fancy drawing my bedroll. No, that would suck. And then I'll get that nasty, like, damp smell too, and no. Sorry, mate. No amount of prestidigitation is going to clean that up. No, no. It's there forever. I just realized. Yes. If we stay there for a day, more than a day, uh -huh. where do we sleep? If we're underwater. That's a question yeah. for about we just... well, 14 hours from now. Do you think we'll just like float about? Like, that would be funny. Or just have to like, oh. tie ourselves down to the floor or something like bats. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't want to tie yourself to the floor because then the bottom dwellers would have you as an easier snack. Good point, good point. Uh, That's terrifying. Would you want to float up to the roof then? Hmm. Maybe. To Korak and Fia with passive perceptions 15. Yes, I remember what your scores were. Not gonna happen ever again. Haha. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> I 10 out of 10. Um, you guys notice that the fog around you is getting thicker. Not in like a naturalistic sense, because dawn is approaching, fog should be going away. No, it's getting thicker. It's like rolling in. Oh, fun. In a way, it gives you like a curve of, of privacy and obscurement. Feels good, barrack with a rifle again. Haha, <laughs> true dog, Richard was aside. <laughs> Before he looked like a soldier, I think now he looks more like a frontiersman. Which is fitting for the setting. So, uh, yeah, you guys are standing here, noted, or I'm assuming you point this out to the group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Noting the fog rolls in. Hmm. Let me change the music. Props oh, up, what? crossbow, prepares to shoot some shit now. <laughs> I mean, I really hope you don't shoot the diplomats which you were told were going to meet here. I know. That'd be really I just like bad. having things at the ready, okay? That'd be really fucking bad. And would sort of evaluate Very like, poor entire... diplomatic efforts. That'd be it would validate my entire prep work and I just end session like here. <laughs> <laughs> now part of me wants to, but part of me does I won't. <laughs> oh, this is super quiet from the beginning. Fuck. Uh I'd say turn up the music for a little bit, but just be ready to turn it. Actually just leave it. It's gonna cycle for a good bit, so just leave it. Yeah, I can kind of hear it, so... It has, like, high-pitched things, which are easier to hear, that's why. But yeah, so, you guys... In... All, uh, how to describe it? 
they don't swim out. They walk out of the water. It really is like seeing a fairy tale esque lady of the lake emerge from the water sort of situation. It reminds you of those rumors. Like, you get the rumors now that you heard the previous day of mermaids down the coast. You can see why. The first one that exits, she is flanked by four guards, decked in some sort of plate armor, which is formed not of some metallic thing, but something a bit more organic. Uh, carapace, I suppose. But the one, the f one that first steps out of the water, you can see her face. She's definitely an aquatic elf. You can tell by the gills she has on her neck, the fins that sort of are almost like uh, hair. Not to say she doesn't have actual hair, she does. To those of you that know of aquatic elves and their um, appearance, she looks unex she looks different than what you're expecting. The stories go that aquatic elves are blue, green, you know, the colors of the sea and the tide. She does not look like this. She looks like a normal elf. Pale complexion and such, black hair. Very bright blue eyes, like uh, aquamarine gems. But you can see underneath their plate, or half, or they're just a halfway that plate helmets and stuff like that. You can see under their armors, they're blue, they're green, they're more along the lines of what you were expecting. So she looks very strikingly different. Wait, she's wearing like heavy armor? Uh, she's not wearing heavy armor, but her entourage is. Uh, okay. She is wearing, like, I guess it's like water, like hydrophobic almost, uh, cloth with some. Again, they're not plate, these aren't metal pieces of armor that they're wearing.